A train is a type of rail transportation made up of many cars that are typically driven along a rail track to carry people or goods between different locations. A train is made up of several linked automobiles that travel on a railroad track. Trains carry both passengers and cargo. The old French term trainer, which means to pull, to draw, is where the word train originates. Usually referred to as just engines, locomotives are used to push or pull trains. Railroad cars, usually referred to as wagons, and are used to transport both passengers and goods. The distance between the rails or tracks is known as the gauge, and it is used in the design of trains. Because they have less friction than other modes of transportation, trains are more efficient because they typically run on steel rails with steel wheels. The first steam train was driven in 1804 by a steam engine created by British inventor Richard Trevithick. Steam locomotives were never employed outside of coal mines, where fuel was always accessible. That is, until the Stockton and Darlington Railway opened in Northeast England in 1825. On this 25-mile, 40-kilometer route, a British engineer by the name of George Stevenson drove a steam locomotive known as Locomotive No. 1, which carried over 400 people at a top speed of 8 miles per hour, 13 kilometers per hour. Many were persuaded of the worth of steam locomotives by this locomotive's performance, and within 10 years the UK saw the onset of Railway Mania, a stock market bubble. The United States was the first country to receive news of the success of steam locomotives, and the first steam railroad was established there in 1829. American railroad pioneers quickly began building their own locomotives that were built to handle the nation's trains' rougher rails and sharper turns. In order to maintain control over their colonies and move goods for sale, imperial powers built railroads in South America, Africa, and Asia, where they were initially put into use. Railroads initially appeared in Japan in the early 1870s. The country was never colonized. All continents except Antarctica, which was uninhabited, had railroads by 1900. The first trains were drawn by horses, driven by gravity, or dragged by ropes. A boiler is used to convert water into steam in order to operate a steam locomotive. The wheels of the locomotive are connected to the pistons, which are powered by this. In several nations, vintage railways catering to tourists and enthusiasts still utilize steam engines. A diesel engine powers the traction motors of diesel locomotives by producing energy. Most diesel trains employ this type of gearbox, which is referred to as a diesel-electric one. Steam was replaced by diesel power for a number of reasons. Diesel locomotives were more fuel-efficient, less complicated, more dependable, less expensive, cleaner, and easier to repair. Overhead wires carry the current that electric trains need to run their traction motors, which turn the wheels. Only heavily used routes can afford the higher initial costs associated with electric traction, which gives a lower cost per mile of train operation. Electric locomotives accelerate far more quickly than diesel locomotives and emit no direct pollutants, which makes them more suitable for passenger operation, particularly underground. People are moved along a railroad line by passenger trains. 
These trains might be made up of one or more locomotives pulling unpowered passenger railroad vehicles, commonly referred to as coaches or carriages. Trains carrying people go between stops where they can board and get off. Typically, passenger trains run according to a set timetable. There are two categories of passenger trains, short and long distance services. Between cities, long distance passenger trains cover hundreds or even thousands of miles. Long distance trains typically stop at dozens of stations along their routes and might take days to complete their travels. They serve as the sole source of public transit in a lot of rural villages. Travel times for short distance passenger trains are expressed in hours or even minutes. They are commonly utilized by commuters and typically operate more frequently than long distance trains. Passenger trains over short distances are made especially for commuters. Conventional trains are not meant to go as quickly as high-speed trains. Usually, they operate on different tracks from slower trains. Japan established its first high-speed train line in 1964. The purpose of monorails was to accommodate medium-demand urban transportation traffic. They are made up of a train traveling on a single, usually elevated rail. Only a small percentage of train systems in operation globally are monorails. In sizable mines, mine trains transport both laborers and cargo. Typically, they run on electricity to avoid pollutants that may endanger the health of subterranean workers. Wagons or freight carriages make up freight trains, which are only used to move products, often known as cargo, rather than passengers. When compared to other modes of transportation, freight transportation by rail is often less costly and uses less energy than freight transportation by vehicle. London produced the first subterranean railroad. In Wales, Landfair Polgwinjil Gojerich Wurndrobul Lantisilia Gagaga, or Landfair PG, is the longest name for a railway station. In English, it means the Church of St. Tisilio near the Red Cave and St. Mary's Church in the hollow of White Hazel near a rapid whirlpool. The Trans-Siberian Express Railway Line's journey from Moscow to Vladivostok is the longest for a single train. Its length is 5,772 milliliters, or 9,297 kilometers. Operating since February 2, 1913, Grand Central Station in New York features 67 tracks and 44 passenger platforms. The longest section of flawlessly straight railroad track is the Trans-Australian Railway. Nearly 300 milliliters, 478 kilometers, is its length. One of the greenest modes of transportation is the train. Traveling allows you to see breathtaking sights as well. A horse defeated America's first steam locomotive in a race. For a very long time, trains have influenced literature, music, and art greatly. Children all throughout the world are in love with toy train sets. Model railroad enthusiasts are referred to as rail fans. <laughs>